Hi there, and the story ninja is back. And yay, it's Friday. And my daughter's just reminded me, Friday needs something special. And now that we're learning all this new language, um, seeing me doing some YouTubes, um, we have a mini omnibus just for you and just because it's Friday. So this is a favorite poem of mine from when I was a little girl and you would know that is long, 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 long ago. It's called Choosing Shoes by Frida Wolf. New shoes, new shoes, red and pink and blue shoes. Tell me what would you choose if they'd let us buy? Bottle shoes, bow shoes, pretty pointy toe shoes, strappy cappy low shoes. Let's have some to try. Bright shoes, white shoes, dandy dance by night shoes, perhaps a little tight shoes, like some, so would I, but, hmm, fat shoes, flat shoes, stump along like that shoes, wipe them on the mat shoes, that's the sort they'll buy, oh my goodness, where would we find shoes? And on which end of our body would we be wearing these shoes? Yes, on our feet. And our feet are at the end of our legs. Awesome. So my next story is, what if everything had legs? Look around you. There are plenty things. Could you imagine some of them? With legs. So let's find out what Scott mentioned is going to mention about everything having legs. Mom, I'm so tired. We're almost home, honey. You can do it. How many of us feel like that when we are out on that long shopping trip? I can't. My legs hurt. Oh. I made cupcakes this morning. The faster we walk home, the sooner you get one. Mom, why can't the house walk to us? Oh my goodness. Did you see that? A house with legs. Because then, said Mum, then the cupcakes would have legs and run away. Absolutely no. Imagine chasing your cupcakes down the street. What if everything had legs? Everything? Hmm, have you thought about that? What if everything had legs? Hmm. If everything had legs, then apples could land on their feet, worms could wriggle their toes. I'm picturing all of this and it sounds so hilarious. A rake could jump in leaves and leaves would leave. Cars could stroll and snails could stride. This sounds out of this world. Rocks wouldn't roll, but rolls could rock. I'm trying to picture my lunch rocking on my plate. Mom, your laptop would become a... Yes, you're right, a eh? leg top. Oh my goodness. Imagine mom working from home and a laptop was running around the lounge. And toys would put themselves away. Now, that would have a good purpose. Hmm, toys with legs. A toothbrush could squeeze toothpaste. And bubbles would do the... Boogie woogie. Guess what, Mum? I'm not so tired anymore. And look, honey, 
Dear Home. So yeah, a little bit of fun and chatting makes a long journey seem so much shorter. Mom? Dear Sunny? I wonder what's up now. What does our little friend here have happening in her imagination? What if everything had arms? Ah, let's see. Can you imagine some more things other than an apple with arms? Mm, a crayon with arms? How about if your Lego had arms? They may build themselves into a something. What if your jug had arms and would pour itself into your pottage bowl? Keep on thinking of all the wildest things about everything around you having arms and legs. Well, have fun this weekend as you allow your imagination to conjure up all these magical things. And see you next time.